Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 current gen build video. And y'all already know I had to create a LeBron James build after what he did last night, man. Of course, he did break the all-time scoring record. And of course, um, this build right here will be able to score. I'm talking about finishing, shooting, making plays, and playing defense. You really can do everything with this build. And you can create this build more than one way. I created it more than one way, but this this version right here is really, really hard to stop. So let's go ahead and put the build at power four, choose the hand of your choice, and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go into further, you already know what time it is, man. It's like button time. Go down there and hit that like button. Get this video to 50 likes and, well, not 50, but <laughs> probably about 10 to 20 with this channel because it's still small. So we are about maybe two subscribers away from 700. So if you hear the sound of my voice, man, hit that subscribe button and get this channel to 700. I've been trying to post on a consistent basis, and I appreciate you guys for stopping by. All my lawyers over there on my other channel, man, uh, especially Mac, man, I appreciate you, bro, if you hear this. So 6'9", 210, 7'7", seven, seven wingspan, built by the shape. Let's get into the build. We're going to go ahead and start with the finishing on this build, and the close shot is up to a 77, and that's really, really good in my opinion. Uh, we do want fast twitch on silver. That's a good badge to have. And you get it at 75, but at 77, you do get an extra badge, and we want that extra badge. For the driver layup, we're going to get that up to an 80, which is really good in my opinion. An uh, 80 driver layup uh, will give you silver acrobat. Um, well, you need like a 70, what? You need a 76 to get it, but we're going to take it up to an 80, and an 84 will get you gold. So if you want gold acrobat, go ahead and take it up. Driver dunk, we got an 86. We didn't want to go overboard on that. We do want to be able to finish at the rim, and I think we can do that with this build. For the standard dunk, we're going to get that up to an 80. All right. Uh, 80 standard dunk is super good, in my opinion. And you 6'9", you got good vertical on this build. You will be able to go up and finish. For the post control, now this is a little bit different than what I normally do. But I did add some post going to this build to give you a different look, man. A lot of people create the same builds every single year. And, you know, they don't have no versatility. But this build right here will be able to do um, everything. Like, the post scoring is, is really good to have with this build. As you can see, uh, we do get 21 of them thing. And um, I will go with Fast Twitch, Posterizer, Limitless, Slithery, Rise Up, Fearless. And I will probably throw in Drop Stepper. But those are um, what will make this build what it is, okay? But let's go ahead and get to the green bean. Make your girl scream, Badger. And this build can't shoot, no doubt about it. So we didn't want to just go super high on the three. We didn't want to go super low. We're going to kind of keep it to where you can make shots on a consistent basis. And we have an 83-point shot. For the mid-range shot, we have a 74, which is good in my opinion, too. Now, I may show you guys the other way to create this build. Um, you could do it either, either way. It's totally up to you guys. But um, this is one of the ways that I did it. So we do get 18 shooting badges, right? And, of course, we want to use badges like Corner Specialist, Amp, Blinders, Catch and Shoot, Claymore. Um, you can also throw in Limitless Range if you want to. You got Dead Eye right there that you can use and Agent 3. But you only get 18 now. So be careful with uh, the badges that you choose because you can easily miss out on something and you'll go out there missing a lot of shots, and we don't want you guys to do that. But let's go ahead and get it to the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody named mama can see this video. And I need everybody named mama to see the video. So do that for you, yeah, boy, boy. Speed with ball, we're going to get that to a 71. Okay, ball handle, we have uh, 85. Now, I did have it at an 87, but um, with this build, you do get gold clamps, I mean, gold clamp breaker at 87, but we don't get any extra badges, and I'm all about getting extra badges. So, we're going to leave it at 85, and I think 85 is really, really good in my opinion. For the pass accuracy, we're going to get that up to a 78. And as you can see, we do get 18 playmaking badges for this particular build. Now, you may use have to use a lot of civil badges, but that's fine. You know what I'm saying? You're not the primary ball handler, but when you do get the ball, you will be able to uh, do you some dribble moves and get past people, okay? And the badges I will use will be Anchor Breaker, Hyper Drive, uh, Needle Threader, uh, clamp breaker, handle for days, quick first step. Those are some of the bads. I may throw in a uh, break start as well, and vice grip and uh, unpluckable are great together too. But um, mix and match the bads how you want to is totally up to you. It depends on how you play. You know, I can call out a lot of bads, but if it's not your personal preference, then you're not going to agree with me, and that's just what it is. Like somebody told me that um, you know my bill was under six foot five and it didn't have a 92 
um, ball handle, which that don't mean anything. You get you get a Hall of Fame um, quick first step with a freaking um, 89 ball handle. So for you to say that, they don't even make sense. Now, if you want certain dribble moves, yeah, I can understand you want to take the ball handle to a 92. But the main goal with taking that ball handle up is to get that quick first step on Hall of Fame. That's what I really want. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the best playmaker bads on the game. But let's go ahead and get it to the defense, right? Of course, we want some defense. We want to be able to stop people. We don't want to be a liability. We want to have some um, some ability to go in the paint if we need to and step out on the perimeter and cover the smaller guards. So with the interior defense, we're going to take that up to a 76. Not super high, but it's not super low at the same time. It's kind of like in the middle, you know, and you could go out there and do what you need to do when it comes down to um, slowing people down in the paint. Not saying you're going to stop everybody, but you can at least slow people down in the paint. For the perimeter defense, we're going to get that up to an 86, and that will allow us to get silver clamps, as you guys can see. Silver clamps are very important to slowing people down on the perimeter, and that's what I was talking about. You want to be able to go out there on the perimeter on the uh, picks and, and guard the smaller guards. Everybody's running small guards, and they're really, really fast, but when you got a bigger guard on you, it, it makes it kind of rough for you. Now, as far as the lateral quickness, you don't have a chance right there, but um, you know, one, like once they get past you, you can recover and use the size and your strength to uh, block the shot, so slow them down or whatever. For the steal, we're gonna get that to an 85. An 85 steal does give us a uh, glove on silver and intercept on silver, which is really, really good. I think if you got silver, uh, intercept, and glove, I think you should be able to get some steals. For the block, we're gonna get that up to a 76 because that does allow us to get gold chase down artists, which is a really good badge. Now, if you can get on Hall of Fame, go ahead and get on Hall of Fame, that's even better. For the rebound, we're gonna take the offensive rebound to an 85. And the defensive rebounder is a 75. And as you guys can see, we do get 22 defense and rebounder badges. And, of course, we want badges like clamps, chase down, pogo, um, box, anchor, glove, interceptor, and rebound chaser. Those are some of the badges that I would use for this particular bill. Look at the combination, though. 21, 18, 18, and 22, man. I tried. Well, I didn't try. But I was going to try to get, uh, uh, well, I wanted to get, 22 finishing badges, man. That would have been sweet there, man. But, you know, it is what it is. So, we got an 80 on the speed, uh, 75 on the acceleration. Took the strength up to a 60. Some people may want to take it up higher. That's fine. Go ahead and take it up. Uh, the vert, we took the vert to a 75. And the rest is on stamina. Now, now you probably can take the vert down to a 70 if you want to. And you can get, you probably can try to get you another badge uh, if you want uh, you can get you can get another bad somewhere in another category. That's if you want to take the vertical to a 70, but I left it at a 75. But let's go ahead and get into the takeover. So we have shot creating. We have sharp shooting, playmaking, and rebounding. We're just going to choose something for the video. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, we do have an inside-out shot creating. We do have LeBron James night right there. Congrats to King James, man. I appreciate you guys. I'm out of here. Charge!